Hey, this is Tracy Bethay, and this is my exclusive online radio interview with a young man who I truly believe is on his mark to being one of the greatest gospel songwriters and singers uh, this world has ever seen because of his humble spirit, uh, because of his unique God-given talent to write such powerful songs uh, that minister to us at, at such a young age. I want to introduce to many of you uh, the wonderful ministry of Markevius Faulkner. Hi, Markevius. Hey, Miss Tracy. How are you? How are you? I am doing well. No complaints. No Congratulations complaints. on your new CD release. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You've got a brand new CD out called Day one. Yes. Tell us about the CD. Day one. Uh, day one is a, a celebration to God and to all the people that God placed in my life along the way. So um, that's what day one is all about. It's about the journey, the process. And uh, I was so honored to work with so many great uh, musicians and singers and producers and songwriters as well uh, on this project. Uh, great friends, close friends and everything. So that's what day one is about. Uh, but it's about more than that. I mean, what what the songs? Because you do a lot of writing on the songs. Right. Um, and and how old are you? Let's let's start with that. Or how young? <laughs> you can say in your what? You're in your twenties. I'm in my twenties. I'm twenty four. Okay, actually. so you, you're a young person, but you have such a gift of uh, writing from the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, even with the title day day one, mm -hmm. uh, talk to uh, our listeners about uh, your gift of writing. Um, I really don't know how it came about, but um, I was writing songs as a, as a younger guy. I know I was maybe eight or nine when I wrote my first song about a kitchen and the pots and the pans in the kitchen. Uh, but I always thought great songwriting was when I can draw, draw an image in my mind. If someone can hear your music and close their eyes and create their own music video to your song, that's, that's great songwriting. So imagery is, is my key to, to songwriting. Wow. Uh, how did you get into singing? How did that come about? It was just as a child? As a child. Um, I grew up in a Sea of Me church, uh, so we would always have to sight read the hymns and all of that stuff. So I would lead, like on, on my CD, I did God has smiled on me uh, just to to pay respect and I guess homage to the Sea of Me church and my roots. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the first songs that I would was leading as a little boy. Now you are definitely through the social media are becoming uh, a worldwide artist, but here in the city of Memphis, people definitely know, well, they know your song. They may not know you when they see you, but they right. know your song. Right. And I just want to play a little because people all over the world will have access to this interview. Yes. And uh, I guess your breakout song for Memphis <laughs> uh, is a song called Jehovah God. Yes. And I want you to tell us about this song that you wrote called Jehovah over God. Uh, but we'll tell you what. First, we're going to take a listen to it. Okay. Just some of the words. I want you to hear this. Jehovah God, I reveal my confused heart. Unlock this firm and well built God. Step into the selfishness and private place and clean my broken heart. Different parts in many places Jehovah I'm gonna be still To avoid the broken part The cut and scar So one by one Pick up the parts That are none like you got Oh one by one Everything that's not like you Take it out of me Fix it, Lord it's the music ministry of Markevius Faulkner, the song Jehovah God, but many people call it One by One. One by One. <laughs> Tell us about this song that you wrote. How was that birthed? Uh, uh, it comes from a, a broken place. Um, I was hurt growing up um, with the absence of my father and um, even church hurt and relationships and family and stuff like that. So uh, as I got older, I began to see that I was like a bitter young guy. 
and I built a guard around my heart and I didn't want anyone to get close to me. So one day I just surrendered everything that I had and asked God to step into this guard. I gave him the keys, step into this guard that I built. And you come in and you pick up parts one by one. And I'm not going to move because if I move, I know all these broken parts will cut and scar me. Mm. And I'd be an old bit of person. So that's where that song came about, just the, the pain uh, growing up. Mm. Wow. Now, you've got a CD release party that is um, taking place. Some people may see uh, hear this afterwards, but tell us about your CD release party. Yes, the CD release of, of, of the CD day one is going to be Friday, October 21st. It's going to be at the Olivet Incubation and Training Center, which is 645 Sam Street. Um, what time? At 7 o'clock. Okay. And we're going to have a good time. We got food. We got DJ. I'm going to be signing CDs and taking pictures and hugging people and networking with people. So we're going to have a good time. What's your favorite song on this CD? <sighs> because mine so long was uh, Jehovah God. Uh-huh. But that was before the rest of the CD. Right. So- My favorite song, it, like I said, it changes every day. I think today it's Committed to Love. I really like Committed to Love. I got uh, my big brother, Everett McBee, on that song. And it was a few songwriters on that, uh, myself and Carla Barnes, Demetria Barnes, and Kenan Smith. We all got together and shut ourselves in a room for hours, and we birthed that song. I think that's my that's my jam for the day. But today, <laughs> what do you want for Markevious Faulkner? I want people to to know... To know my heart, know the message. Uh, I want to be able to encourage people. I want to be able to inspire people to, for self empowerment, like their minds and their hearts, and just to live a better life. That's my that's my goal. Be it through music or motivational speaking or just being a great friend or a great brother, being a great cousin, a great son. That's what I that's what I want. I think if I can execute that, I live the great life. <laughs> so, do you plan to? continue to pursue being a recording artist absolutely absolutely that's your dream music is the thing i I have so many other other uh goals and uh, visions and stuff that i want to such as give us one because this is something exclusive exclusive. something that you can share you know you you can't share your (laughs) vision with everybody but something that you can share that you you know maybe working on in the next couple of years or so there are two things that I am working on, and since this is exclusive, this is the Tracy Bethay exclusive interview. Absolutely. I can do this. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm working on, it's called The Eight Twos, and that's a book that I've been writing for a year. Mm. And it's, a, it's my motto. It's called To Encourage, To Achieve, To Uplift, To Succeed, To Pray, To Trust, To Learn, To Love. And I figured at 15 years old, those eight principles will help me live a great life. So I wanted to write this book for my peers, for older people, for younger people. And uh, I want, and actually in my CD cover, and I, since it's exclusive, in the CD cover, on the actual front cover, I have those on the brick. And I have them kind of embedded in there. You can't really see them very well. Mm. But those are my eight tools, my eight principles to life. And um, with that, I want to one day open up a community center. Wow. I want it to be a performing arts community center for people to come and practice on their instruments, Vocal lessons, play basketball. That's like, that's my big, big, big dream to have that for for children. How kids. powerful! You have such wisdom at a young age. You do. You really do. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> so when the microphone is off and the Pro Tools and everything is cut off and there's no recording going on and you're not at the piano and you're not writing, what does Markevius like to do uh, for fun? For fun, I'm borderline a nerd, so I love history. I I love history books, history documentaries, African American history. I watch Roots like it's a TV series that comes on every day. I watch the movie, literally that long movie, over and over. Um, I love water as well, so any chance I can, I try to get to the river um, or some lake, and just I'm a nature kind of guy, so. I do the more solemn, peaceful. That's good. We gotta take you a step further, though. He okay. said the river. We gotta the, do some the, river. Uh, the I know, ocean, the beach, and, the beach. Yeah, yeah the resort. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> the 
the river. That's where I am right now. So. <laughs> At the river. Work your way up to right. the beach. I'm work my way up to the next body water. You. That's wonderful. Uh, so, I mean, tell us something that's, uh, well, that's something we didn't know. Something mm-hmm. else that people wouldn't know about you. He uh, said a borderline nerd. I'm a borderline nerd. Are you a, uh, you are a uh, tech fanatic. I know <laughs> Twitter and all of that stuff. I love Twitter. Twitter is like my... Therapy? You know, people, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like you could just throw stuff out there, just random thoughts. Okay. And I'm so random. So Twitter is like a huge vehicle for all the randomness in the world. So Okay. <laughs> Another thing about me, um I I collect I collect cards. What kind of cards? Just any kind. I love letters and cards and stuff like that. So I have shoe boxes full of cards and I love clocks too. Oh. I love clocks. I have clocks everywhere. So, wow! Just a random, Marquevious mm-hmm. exclusive mm-hmm. interview. You right? <laughs> <laughs> Food. You love, I love to eat. You love to eat. Yes, I can't cook very well, but I love to eat. So, wow! Are you dating? I'm not dating. Okay, it's just me and me. Do you plan mm-hmm. on ever getting married one day, having a family? Possibly, mm-hmm. possibly. I want to do that. Okay. I just gotta, you know, make sure I get my. Get myself together. That's right. You know. So, That's right. Yeah, working on, working on something. So uh, traveling. Um, one of the uh, best places that you have ever been. I love Minneapolis. Hmm. I love Minneapolis. St. Paul, Minneapolis. Wow. I love that place. Now, I also know that you've traveled to Haiti. Yes. Before. Um, tell us about your involvement there. Uh, Haiti was just mind-blowing to me uh going to Haiti and coming back here lets me know how fortunate we are how we take so much for granted mm-hmm. just clean water just getting up putting on nice clothes and ironing and we can be fresh and all that stuff Haiti was Haiti is a place I think we all should go it was a humbling experience for me and why did you go over there what did you do while you were there uh, there's an orphanage there called Gradic Orphanage mm-hmm. and we went there uh mission work to help the orphanage help the kids and we got them school supplies out there, Heart for Haiti. Um, we um, we helped build bump beds. We did so much for the kids with food and play games with them, toys. Um, we had a, it was a lot of walking, mm. and it was very hot. Mm. <laughs> it's not as glamorous as our apartments or homes mm-hmm. and stuff we have here, but um, it was a blessing to be to be over there. Marquis, you are such a remarkable young man. Every time I speak with you. I just become uh, more and more uh, honored to know you because you have such a humbling spirit uh, and you just just a just a wonderful, righteous young man. And I wish you the very best with your CD. The world is going to know the name Archivius Faulkner. Now, I asked you your favorite song. My favorite song so favorite far, song? Day One. I Day love one. that. Oh. I love that song. Day One is I like time. No More as well. Tell mm-hmm. us the message behind No More. No More is, it was just a plea that I had, uh, just how I'm not going to be the same anymore. How You know how people in the new year, the people say they're going to join the gym and they never follow through. Or Watch it. We're going to get on. <laughs> 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 we're going to do this for a new year's resolution mm-hmm. and they never follow through. Mm-hmm. And that's what no more is. It's, it's, it's I'm making up in my mind that I'm not going to be the same no more. It's not grammatically correct, mm-hmm. but it's just how we talk. You know, right. I'm not right. going to be the same no more. And this is what I'm going to do starting today from this point on. Wow. So. Mark Kivius, tell people how they can reach you uh, and get the CD. Ah, you can reach me. Actually, we have uh, the booking number now, which is 901-286-DAY1, which is really cool. Isn't that so it's cool? 286-DAY, the letter, one, I mean, the number one. Okay, so that's area code. 901. 901-286-DAY1, D-A-Y, the number one. Wonderful. Yes. Also, MarkeviusFaulkner.com. Uh, you can tweet me <laughs> at uh, Twitter.com backslash Markevious, the number four real. Um, Facebook, iTunes, uh, Our Heart Radio now. That's where you can get the CD. Yes. You okay. can get the music on there. Also, the website. Right now, which is, the website is? MarkeviusFaulkner.com. Okay. Spell Markevious for people, just in case. M-A-R-K-E-V-I-U-S. 
Faulkner, F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R.com. Wonderful. Yes. Any last parting words for this exclusive radio interview? Well, not radio, but internet interview. Exclusive internet interview. I just, I would love to encourage uh, inspiring artists or inspiring what in whatever you're trying to do to be not weary and well-doing. And uh, my mentor always told me to plan my work and work my plan. So mm. any any plan will work as long as you work the plan. So just keep going. Like, stay focused, and it'll come to pass. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much, Markevious, for sharing uh, with uh, the listeners on today. I'm telling you, if you don't have the CD or if you've never heard, Google him, whatever you have to do, but make sure you get the new CD from Markevious Faulkner. It's titled Day One. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I'm going to leave you all with just a little bit of No More on the CD Day One from Markevious Faulkner. One day I would see your face And the stains would just wash away I'm running home to you That's why I decided I'm not gonna be the same no more 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 I'm not gonna be the same no more